This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And look, the video that we're going to do a reaction to today is from Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Let's jump right into the video. Go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, James Moore. James, what do you do? Uh, I work in software and IT right now. Okay, and how old are you? 35. 35, yeah. very nice. All right. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Uh, I do like music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so uh, lately this year I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. I okay. do like to work out a lot, so fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Um, pretty much just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a, just as herself, really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, mm -hmm. you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so I would say kids, but the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Um, <laughs> Yo, shorty right here is ready to pop. As soon as he said kids, she ready. The thing is for me is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like, not not kind mm. i think it's kind of the things i could really mention so okay yeah. all so. right so we did get a pop down there let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping okay. all right we can have your name and age hi i'm zola stone i'm 31 and uh, zola stone why did you end up popping your balloon um i feel like we have a lot in common you know i do music as well i'm a recording artist but i feel like you probably want a girl that's more like clean. clean why are you cut. why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like. Just just saying. I don't know. I just yeah. kind of figured, oh, he's probably not gonna like the face tats on me, or you know. What I'm made you what made you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I have, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very Maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too free while. <laughs> like, I... Damn, son. Yo, this is crazy. And look, she letting you know she's a bird. She got two birds tatted on her neck, fellas. This is crazy. She's looking at dude like, I don't want a good man. Ain't got time for that good man shit. You too strict. I'm a fun girl. I'm for the streets. Wow, that's crazy, man. You can't do nothing with a girl like this but have fun. And what I respect about her, she know who she is. She knows she's a bird. She embraced that. <laughs> she doing good men a favor. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She doing good men of like, yo, keep away from me. Keep away from a bird. Keep away from me. Sorry, I don't know. That's the vibe I get. Like, he yeah. wanted classy, clean. And um, I'm also a traveling exotic dancer. So okay. probably not going to like that. All right, all right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. A traveling exotic dancer? She's sticking that ass on the road. 
she's a different type of bird, bro. <laughs> Shorty is taking that shit from state to state. She's trafficking out here. She's trafficking that ass, man. Yo, this is crazy. What? Yo. 2024 is crazy, man. This is why. Hey, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but it might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that, so is she someone that's your type? Um, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment, though, but. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Submission. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And what you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she definitely would be my type. She's uh, very she attractive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I like the color of the dress and everything. Very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah, um single mom so you know i don't deal with no drama or nothing it's just me and him so you know we are like we're packaged so if somebody doesn't accept him then they don't get me mm. so yeah i totally understand okay. yeah. thank you yo what does yo what does that even mean if somebody don't accept it's like don't the child have a father she means accept him as in to take care of him to be like a stepfather to him. That's crazy, bro. That is, that's just, hey, that's crazy. Let's head on back. We did get a pop right on over here. Your name and age. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Okay. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't. Yo, 27. She's 27. Okay. I'm attracted. Um, you are a good looking man, no doubt about that. It's just I just wasn't physically attracted and I didn't see um uh, myself, you know, matching with you. Um a little too short for you. No, it's not even the shortness. Like it, yeah, I don't think you're short though. <laughs> so okay. I'm wearing heels right now. Okay. But um just like, you know, your outfit and stuff. It just wasn't my vibe. So okay. that's it. Okay. Right. Now she's someone that's your type? Uh, she, she, she's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, honestly. And why not? Um, man, <laughs> uh, just, just not my type. Yeah. yeah mm. I, don't, I can't, yeah. You can't pinpoint it? I can't pinpoint, I can't pinpoint <laughs> okay. it. Okay. All right. I hey. guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> yeah, let, let it slide. Let it slide. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Your name and age? I'm Shayna and I'm 30. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically... Just not my type. And the oh. outfit, too. Yeah, what, what are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like, when I saw you, there wasn't, like, no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out, is it something specific? Yeah. I want to know, like, what, what kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like, what, what, what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel any kind of connection. Okay. Um, but you are good looking, so. All right. Thank you. All right, we'll let it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, well, yeah, see, we'll let we let you slide one. Yeah. That's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm Jojo, and I'm 30. Okay, and Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too, and the, the dress. So, yeah, okay. probably would be someone I would. I would uh, choose, yeah. Cool. I'd like to get you know know you more, but just off appearance, that, yeah, I probably would choose her, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just to help you narrow it down. Yo, I ain't going to lie, bro. If I see a woman with this on, this little shit on her arm right here, I'm going to think she's into astrology. I'm going to think she's like one of those type of chicks. <laughs> And I'm just going to leave her alone, man. Keep away from women like that, fellas. They got a very dark energy. 
They are witches. They will get into your life and drain your energy and move on. Facts. Um, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's start over here. That's a good question, bro. Let's see how these women answer this question. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked? Something about like how you are. Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well, so that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. <laughs> I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like they really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this and you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Thank you. And then we got. Bro, you know she a bird, man. She don't even support her man. See, that's the thing, fellas. Some women can't answer that question because they never been good women. Whole time they've been leeches. So when you so used to leeching off of a man, it's like. What good can that man say about you that you did for them? And you can't even answer that question? That means you never supported your man. Facts, bro. That's so we know Shorty's a bird. Got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah. And then I always smile. And I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons, just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. So let me hand that over. There you go. And then just go ahead and... Yo, my man got options, man. <laughs> pop one of theirs. This is horrible. <laughs> Don't take offense. Don't take offense. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just just not my speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more. Like Physically, I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical. So I just wanted to kind of hear more. But we didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Damn, son. Look at her face. She can't handle rejection. Sad. And it shows every time. It always shows when a woman can't handle rejection because she tried to instantly put the man down. Sad. <laughs> Okay, let me see here. I'm going to have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay. Um, I have a 
question. I'm gonna think about it. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there? Okay, let's start down here. So what are your long-term goals like with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad. So possibly buy properties in Asia, Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with and uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for... I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page. So, okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I, I ain't going to lie though, fam. She got on too much makeup, bro. She got on what? That should look kind of crazy. Ladies. Pipe down on the makeup, man. Show the real you, because it's confusing. This shit look crazy. I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm 50-50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile, yeah. And where are you? I know you say he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would be quite away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. <laughs> I was like 15. <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been to LA either, so. Well, you got you to come to LA. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um. What do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long-term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Okay. I understand. It's good down here. Yo! Wow, son, fellas. That's what you call desperation, bro. At 33, that's when she's ready to finally settle down. That's when she's done playing the streets. When she's past her prime. That's when she want to find a sucker. But in the prime years of her life, she give that to the streets. She give it to the players. So now at 33, bro, she's desperately, yo. I got to do it now, right now. I got to find me a sucker. Fellas, don't let that sucker be you, bro. Trust me. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Sounds good. All right. It's time to pop. Got to pop one of their balloons. This is 
It's hard. I know. I know. They're amazing ladies. <laughs> Where's my toothpick? You lost it? Oh, all right. Okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, honestly. you can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't. No, I can't. Um, yeah, this is tough, but it ain't really that tough, bro. If it comes down to the two, keep away from that desperate woman, bro. There's nothing worse than a desperate woman, dog. There's no fun. The fun is gone. It's finished. She give the fun to the streets. So once you get with a woman like that, bro, it's the worst. You better be wise, man. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh. This, ha! This man is crazy. Why he do that? Yo. <laughs> she thought she was safe. Look at her face, bro. Look at her face. She like, Damn, did he just do that? Smart, yeah, that's a very smart choice, man. Smart choice, buddy. Smart choice. So why did we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed, and I, I get what you were saying because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and matter about it. You yeah. mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy. Like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like just like Man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's come on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right, so I have a final question. If you guys are all good, no. Oh, whoa, he got a mustallion, boy. No way. No, you can go. You can go. Oh, <laughs> I said no way. Okay, so <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match. I ain't mad at him, man. He got a mustallion, yo. That's. Crazy fellas, be smart out here. Pay attention to the signs. The signs are always there, bro. This man is a very smart man. Salute to this guy.